the United Nations mission in Mali ended its decades-long deployment in the troubled country on Sunday, meeting a December 31st deadline agreed after Mali's military leaders ordered it to leave. The UN Stabilization Mission, the United Nations Multidimensional Integrated Stabilization Mission in Mali, had been in place since 2013 and its regional is sparking fears that fighting between troops and armed groups will intensify. However, United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres held MINUSMA's key role in the protection of civilians, the mission's support for the peace process, particularly in ensuring respect for the ceasefire under the 2015 Peace and Reconciliation Agreement, as well as for the transition, its efforts towards the restoration of state authority and the delivery of a peace dividend to the population. In June 2023, the UN Security Council unanimously decided to redraw the peacekeeping operation at the request of the Malian authorities. Over the past six months, the mission has been removed its personnel and has been redrawn from its bases in very difficult circumstances. January 1, 2024 marks the beginning of the liquidation phase of the mission, during which a small team from the United Nations Department of Operational Support we remain in Gao and Bamako together with the true and police contributions nations to supervise the orderly transfer of true and police contributing nations property to their respective countries and the proper disposal of the United Nations owned equipment. In order to ensure that the process is complete as soon as possible, the Secretary General counts on the full cooperation of the transitional government. The Secretary General spokesperson reaffirms the commitment of the United Nations to work with the people of Mali and the transitional government to restore the constitutional order as well as to promote peace, security and sustainable development.